Hey guys, it's Corey with 10 Best Ones. And today we've decided to review the five best options for you. We've ranked these products based on many hours of research and testing, and we've picked the five best models. If you'd like to see their price and find out more information, you can check out the links in the description down below. First, we'll discuss what you should look at before buying. Then we'll look at the five best picks. To make it easier, we'll include timestamps in the description. Let's get started. Before looking at our best picks for today's video, I want to discuss what you should look at before buying. One of the most important factors when it comes to buying a laser printer is factoring in its speed. This is measured with pages per minute, simply telling you how many pages the printer can print within a minute. While it can sound very straightforward, it's actually pretty complicated because you'll see different PPM specifications for color and black and white prints. And also, if you're a home user, I wouldn't pay a lot of attention to this since you won't be in as much of a rush as an office, for example. Then again, don't sacrifice it. Secondly, resolution. The resolution of the sharpness of the print is measured in dots per inch. This tells you how many dots of ink the printer in question applies to a square inch of paper. I considered this specification as one of the most important because it allows you to know how sharp or detailed the image or text you print will be. However, in the last few years, manufacturers have developed better printing methods and software that enhance and upscale the resolution of a charged image, so you can get great results with lower DPI specs. Thirdly, duty cycle. This is also a very important specification you need to check out. The duty cycle number will tell you how many pages per month the printer in question can reasonably print. Also, you need this number to be well above your printing needs. For example, if you need to print about 500 pages per month, you need the duty cycle to be about 800, for instance. This will assure you don't put unnecessary wear and tear on your printer, so it'll be by your side for a longer time. This is especially important if you're buying a printer for an office. And fourthly, connectivity. In the past, printers had limited connectivity, but these days you'll spot different printers that offer tons of connectivity options, including USB ports, SD card slots, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and so much more. Wireless printing is one of my favorite features, since you don't need to clutter your desk space with more cables than you need. This also allows one printer to be shared by multiple devices at the same time. We are going to start this list with the best budget option that you can get your hands on. We're going to kick off this list with an excellent entry-level option that will bring some great qualities to those that want a budget printer, the Brother HLL2350DW. This interesting printer delivers a great deal of print quality for its money, fast operation, good connectivity options, low running costs and a small body. On top of all that, you should know that Brother is one of the biggest brands when it comes to printing, as you'll see. The first thing I want to say about Brother HOL2350DW is that it has a small body that's perfect for rooms or offices where saving space is crucial. I consider this one of the best features of this since it still delivers tons of features in that small encasing. It measures about 14.2 by 14 by 7.2 inches in total and weighs about 16 pounds. The Brother HLL2350DW has a 250 page input tray with an augmented one sheet override slot. This is pretty much what most printers in its price range deliver. The Brother HLL2350DW has a monthly duty cycle of 15,000 pages, so you should be safe if you plan on printing up to 5,000 pages monthly. One crucial feature in this printer is its built in duplexer that delivers two sided printing, which is great for all purpose printing. There are also some decent connectivity options on this small beast as it packs Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi Direct and USB. It supports some third-party protocols such as Google Cloud and it supports the Brother iPrint and Scan, however it doesn't have Ethernet which can be a drag. The controls on the device are a bit simple and it consists of seven total buttons that are very self-explanatory. The setup process is also pretty easy, just plug and play like most laser printers in its category. The Brother HLL2350DW has great speeds though, as it can deliver 32 pages per minute for monochrome prints. Before moving on, I should mention that the Brother HLL2350DW is a monochrome printer, so there's no option for coloured prints. This is no issue for office users, however for home users it results in loss of versatility. I can confirm that the Brother HLL2350DW isn't made for delivering sharpness or high quality, it's designed to be fast, durable, cheap and to get the job done. And it does all that, plus the low running costs are going to make anyone happy. 
If you're looking for a model that is suitable for smaller spaces, this next model is a great option. Next up, we have an even smaller laser printer coming in from HP, the LaserJet Pro M15W. This shoebox size printer can deliver you great printing speeds, affordable price, great app support and low running costs. One of my favourite things about this printer is that it works well with smartphones, which we'll talk about in a moment. The best home office printer ever made in my opinion, so let's take a closer look. Like I said, the HP LaserJet Pro M15W is designed for home offices or micro offices. It's great for even placing in on your cramped desk. There are two trays on the device which fold neatly when you don't need to use the printer. It also measures as much as a single sheet of A4 paper and is as tall as your smartphone. It also looks rather good and I like how it fits into the home office design vibe. HP has done a great job with this one. There's no LCD panel or a lot of buttons, you just get three of them. That might sound bad, but it works in favour of this printer, actually. Without forgetting, it measures 6.3 by 13.6 by 7.5 inches in total and weighs 8.5 pounds. It has a paper capacity of 150 sheets, which can place on the tray that you fold down on the front of the device. I found out that the monthly duty cycle is about 8,000 pages, which means that the recommended number is about 1,000 pages. I understand that the company has put a limited feature set to the HP LaserJet Pro M15W to keep the price low, and I find it pretty reasonable. There's no room for multiple ink cartridges though, hence the super small size. This means that this one as well is a monochrome only printer, I have to say that it doesn't have a duplexer built in either. However, the HP LaserJet Pro M15W is quite fast for its price and size. It can print 19 pages per minute and it does it smoothly. It's a bit noisy in operation though, which might be annoying. The resolution is also pretty good at 600 by 600 DPI. I would recommend you install the HP Smart app on your smartphone to get its full capabilities and I have to say, it's very smooth. This next model is one of the best for office use and it works wonderful around most workspaces. The third entry on our list comes again from HP, but this time around a high-end laser printer that'll deliver you exceptional performance, the LaserJet Pro M479 FDW. This printer has all the qualities to be fast enough for fast office life. It's super fast, delivers great quality even for graphics, has PCL and PostScript drivers, tons of connectivity options, and so much more. The first thing I have to say is that this printer is a bit larger than our two previous entries. It measures 16.4 by 15.7 by 18.6 inches in total and weighs about 51 pounds. But then again, for what it offers, it's not the largest. It has a paper capacity of 300 sheets that are divided between a 250 sheet tray and a 50 sheet multi-purpose feeder. If you need more than that, you can buy an extra 550 sheet paper tray. One thing I love about the HP LaserJet Pro M479 FTW is that it has a 50,000 page monthly duty cycle, which amounts to about 5,000 sheets in recommended numbers. On top of this printer, you'll spot the flatbed, which is able to scan A4 size papers and the 50 sheet automatic document feeder that I mentioned earlier. This one supports a single pass and two-sided scanning. You'll spot a 4.3 inch touchscreen display on this device to control its functions, which is pretty intuitive. Then you'll also see a USB port for thumb or stick drives. Connectivity is great as you get USB, Ethernet, Wi-Fi and NFC as well. The HP LaserJet Pro M479 FDW delivers a 28 page per minute print speed for coloured prints, which is amazing. It's a little slower in practicality, but then again it delivers great performance. The running costs are pretty good and the print quality is exceptional for businesses. Before we talk about the best model overall, Let's look at the runner-up for this list. The runner-up on this list is the Brother HL2170W, which is another inexpensive laser printer that delivers fast performance, small footprint, tons of connectivity options and so much more. It's best suited for home offices and micro offices, but can handle much more than that if the need arises. The Brother HL2170W is a small printer, as I said in the beginning, and it measures 6.7 by 14.5 by 14.2 inches in total and weighs about 15 pounds. This is great overall, but in terms of design, it's not very aesthetically pleasing. However, it will fit well into any office space without any compromise. 
The front face of the device folds down to reveal a toner port like in most laser printers. The paper tray of this beast is located on the front as well, and it can be completely removed so you can refill it more comfortably. It has a capacity of holding 250 sheets of A4 paper, which is great for its design purposes. I should mention that there's a manual paper feeder up top that can handle different paper sizes, including legal, letter, executive, A4, A5, A6, B5, B6, and even envelopes, which is great overall. In terms of features, you won't find a lot here, but there is the 32 megabyte internal memory, which allows you to speed up the printing process. It has three connectivity options, including USB, Ethernet, and Wi-Fi. This printer is great for its price, as it prints 17 pages per minute of text. The quality is also on par, and I don't think there's anything to complain about. Finally, the next model is the best overall. From us, it gets a perfect score in all categories. On top of the list, we have yet another printer from Brother. And as we all know, the brand delivers the best printers out there. This time around, we're checking out the Brother HLL3290 CDW. This printer is rather fast and delivers a good print quality. It has some interesting features such as mobile support and automatic document feeder. Let's take a deeper look at it. I have to state that the Brother HLL3290 CDW is not a true laser printer. Instead, it combines laser technology with LED arrays to deliver a more efficient and smaller body. This also delivers a lower running cost. The Brother HLL3290 CDW measures about 14.5 by 16.1 by 18.7 inches in total and weighs about 48 pounds in total. It's a pretty bland device, pretty much with office attire. It's equipped with simple controls and a simple two-line display that allows you to see what's going on. It has a sheet drawer on the bottom that holds about 250 sheets, and on the top there's a one-sheet manual override tray, which works pretty well too. The monthly duty cycle of this thing is about 30,000 pages, but with a recommended monthly print volume of about 2,000 pages. For connectivity, the Brother HLL3290 CDW uses Wi-Fi, USB and Wi-Fi Direct, which is OK, but I'd like to see Ethernet and NFC for faster operation. It has mobile connectivity features as well for Apple AirPrint, Google Cloud Print, Mopria and Brother iPrint and Scan, which works wonders. It doesn't have a lot of security features, but it has some basic ones such as protocols that protect your identification numbers and documents. It has a print speed that amounts to 25 pages per minute for both monochrome and coloured pages. It's pretty good in my opinion, and the quality is pretty good for a business-oriented device. With a low running cost and a superb performance for its price, the Brother HLL3290 CDW secures the top spot. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.